Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress. I got my nails done, <laughs> or did them, or pushed on some nails. Uh, how was your holiday? Um, this is Cherry Enchantress, and this is your daily dust for December 26th, if you're watching in real time. But if you're watching in any other time, that's fine. It, it could be holiday or not. It's just something that you were meant to hear on this day. I am decide I've decided to use the affirmators for love and relationships. This is a really great deck that Melanie gave me. Thanks, Melanie, a while back. And I love to refer to it every once in a while. It's just got such great humor and you know, really good messages too. Even at the bottom it says Interper interpersonal wisdom that'll last a lifetime. Well, scratch a day. And that's exactly what we need. We just need a little wisdom for the day. <laughs> And I'm filming it on the day of, because normally I film a day before, but you know, Christmas I was, I actually could have done it yesterday, but I was really in kind of the zone and not thinking about this. So today for today, and then I'll do another one for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's see what we get for today. Resilience, yes. <laughs> Thoughtfulness, good one. Some of the cards come like this and some are just like that. That's a bonus card. And solidarity, very nice. All right, I'm going to zoom on in and read these to you and then just give you my additional downloaded messages and insight. So there's no right or, way to, right or wrong way to use these cards. If you have them yourself, you can lay them out um, t face down, close your eyes, take a deep breath, pull a card, pull more than one. When, um, you know, read the cards out loud, I'm going to read it out loud to you. But if you draw the bonus cards, there's only um, 10 of them in this deck and it says if you draw a bonus card relish in its wisdom and use its gifts at will for you have been bestowed with great and mighty powers reserved for only for 10 cards in this deck what fortune <laughs> i think it's a cute and you know sarcastic kind of humor but it is important to understand that sometimes things are so are random and rare and thoughtfulness is an interesting card that can't, comes out. I was listening to Mel Melanie Ru Williams' daily dust or daily <laughs> message the other day. It was about, you know, when you receive gifts, to be a good gift receiver and not be like roll your eyes and wish you had gotten something else or whatever. And it, it actually sat with me and it helped me so much. And just in general, just like she said, just going out of the way to get you something, anything at all, to even think about you, even if it was, even if it's just scouring your closet of old things that you know. I mean, just thinking, I need some to get something for this person. Just the thought itself is amazing. So thoughtfulness, right? It's time to put your money where your mouth is and have fun showing your love, showing your love. Think of all the little things you can do to show a person you love them. Then stop thinking of those things and actually do them. It is time to hide a note in someone's pocket. Hmm? Make them a snack. Order them a book. Anything thoughtful can be an act of love. Even taking the trash out to the dumpster. Unless you're dating the trash, in which case, don't take it to the dumpster. Take it somewhere fancy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. Who would have thought that being so full of thoughts could be considered thoughtful? So there you have it. And it could be this like this kind of like glow, this afterglow of thinking, wow, are people so thoughtful. How thoughtful of them. And then thinking too, like, do, you know, were you a part of that too? And are people thinking of that about you as well i'm sure they are so so let's see what we're gonna do from 
you know, the rest of this day or the rest of the year. Resilience is saying, sticks and stones may break my bones and unkind words can somehow drain every bit of joy and color from my once rosy life. But nothing can ever permanently damage the real me. I love myself. I cherish myself. And I vow to remember that I'm always camped out in the depths of myself, even when I don't feel like very much of myself. So this may be something that could be helpful on this particular day, or it could be something that you just need to know to carry with you into the future. So remember, you're resilient, and what other people think about you is completely unimportant. It's only, it's this relationship with yourself that matters most. Then there's solidarity. I respect the power of solidarity and I look for opportunities to unleash it. When a loved one has to do something tough, I'll heed their often silent but sometime loud and whiny call and appreciate in the toughness with them. <laughs> Everything is easier when a partner, cohort, sidekick joins you. The only thing that's not easier is feeling resentment, which I suppose is the overall point. <laughs> So um, it looks like possibly today you are going to be joined by somebody who ha is a like mind. You know, somebody you can talk over things with. It's always good to have a friend. Like, well, certainly it's, it's important to have therapy and stuff if you need it. But a lot of the times the only therapy we really need is somebody who will listen to us, you know, somebody who will just give us a kind ear. And also kind of a, it's also nice to have sort of a partner in crime, somebody who will do fun stuff with us, who will try something with us and somebody who will stay loyal to you and, um, you know, decide to, to keep your word. <laughs> ah, yes. And I, I know like I am in a solidarity type situation right now as we speak. And it happens sometimes, especially when um, somebody's asking you to keep a confidence, you know, um, asking you to, you know, to listen to them, but please don't, you know, say this to anybody else. I just need to get this out. So a lot of times people will come to you for stuff like that. And today might be one of those days as well. And, you know, I feel like sometimes people may come to you because they know, they see how you are. They see how resilient you are. They see how that you've been through a lot and like you'd be the one person that would understand. And, um, yeah. And I feel like if you're one of those people who, <laughs> who does kind things, I just, you know, Speaking of kind people, I'm staring at a gift right now that I thought was extremely thoughtful or part of a gift that's very thoughtful. Right there in my window is a beautiful light catcher and it just brings me joy just looking at it because of somebody's thoughtfulness. Kiki, oh Kiki, Pumpkin will be reading the rest of the message for today. But anyway, really that's it. Pumpkin, what do you have to say? Hmm. Anything else? Anything else? No? Sure? No? Come on, pumpkin. Tell us something else. <laughs> Come on. What should we know? Okay. She says, don't pick on people or pester them unnecessarily. Just let them come to you when they're ready to come to you. There you go. <laughs> I hope you like that. Faith trust the pixie dust.